Welcome back to the Mathematica for Physics series. In this lecture, we will discuss some basic operations in Mathematica. To begin with, let's first recap of what we learned last time. Remember, shift plus enter evaluates cells. To comment, press alt plus 7 and then start typing. Control plus 6 raises something to some other power and control plus 2 gives you the square root symbol. To enter some new symbol, press escape and then the symbol key and then press escape again. I will demonstrate this. First let's go to a new cell. You press escape, you get these three dots. Suppose I want to enter gamma, so I press G. Now you see G stands for gamma and then I press escape back and I have the gamma symbol. To enter pi, I press escape, pi, pi and then escape again. So here I have pi. Now you see pi came in black while gamma was in blue. Now if something that hasn't been defined before in Mathematica, that thing comes in blue and if, it's, if, and if it has been defined before, it comes in black. Since pi is a constant and Mathematica knows its value beforehand, hence it came in black. So I'll just write it down. Remember, alt plus 7 comments. So blue means something that has not been defined before and black means something that has been defined before. Let's see how to apply functions. Suppose I want to see the numerical value of pi. The function for evaluating numerical value of something is n. And you pass arguments to a function via these square brackets. So inside I enter pi. And I press shift enter to evaluate the cell. This gave me the numerical value of pi. Now there are multiple ways of passing the argument to a function. Another way is to write pi and then slash slash and then n. This is the postscript notation which is very useful. This gave us the same result. So there are multiple ways of using functions. I prefer the second one. Okay, now let's move on to basic operations. I will shrink this section. Yes. To assign a value to a variable, just press equal symbol. For example, x is equal to 5. So this assigns x the value 5. Now if I want to check what's the value of x, I press x and I evaluate it. It gave me 5. To clear the value of a variable, the command is clear. And remember, to pass arguments, use square brackets. Press x. So this clears the value of x. Now when I press x, it came as blue because it hasn't been defined before. And I press enter. And it gave me x because Mathematica has no value assigned to x. Now let us define something like this x plus y raised to, remember, control plus 6 gave me the option of power. And then I evaluated. Now this is x plus y whole square. Now I know x plus y whole square is x square plus y square plus 2xy. So I want to expand it. I want to expand this expression in the regular form. To expand expressions, the command is simple, expand. And I pass a because a was defined as x plus y whole square. So you see, this gave me the expanded form. x square plus 2xy plus y square. Now let's type in pi again. Suppose I want to find the cosine of the last output. So I write cos and percentage symbol. 
the percentage symbol takes the last output as input so cos pi should be minus 1 and I got minus 1 similarly I can use sine tan and other trigonometric functions suppose I have an expression like this square root remember control plus 2 gave me square root symbol 12 into x square into y now I see that this x square should come outside in a simplified manner it should come outside because it's in square root and x square the square root of x square is x so to simplify expressions the command is simplify and then we enter into bracket mode and then I give I enter the whole expression 12 into x square into y and I give the condition that x is greater than 0 so you see now x came outside now we got the simplified expression remember each operation that I'm showing you this is the bare bones version of the operations you can do many more things with simplify you select it right click and go to help so you see all the different things you can do with simplify all the different options and arguments you have in simplify options all these can be accessed and you can know about them from this help Mathematica has a wonderful documentation make good use of it now suppose I have a function log log is defi defined with capital L x to the f oh, no. log x to the power 5 plus x plus 1 and 1 x 5 plus x plus 1 so I got in the numerator divided by denominator representation by selecting one and then pressing control plus backslash so I got this nice notation now I'll evaluate it fine this is the value of f suppose I want to differentiate it so the command for differentiation is just capital D and I pass f and then differentiate with respect to what say if I want to differentiate with respect to x so I just pass x and then this is what I get you see here I had written a so and it came in black because if you remember we already had a function defined with a so Mathematica took a and substituted whatever we had defined before here ok to integrate something the command is simply integrate say if I want to integrate a with respect to x remember a was x plus y whole square so I get the value of the integration the complex I is represented in Mathematica by capital I so if I remember I square is minus 1 so if I do capital I square it gives me minus 1 perfect now we'll see how to make plots in Mathematica I'll make a new section plots let me close uh, let me close the previous one here yeah. So to make a 2D plot, the command is simple, plot and then let's say I want to plot sin x by x, so sin x by x and then I have to pass the range of x, so, so range is given by within curly brackets x and lower limit comma upper limit and I close the curly brackets 
and the square brackets for plot and I evaluate it so I get the plot of sin x by x if now if I want to make a 3d plot the command is simply plot 3d say if I want to plot x square plus y square so I have x square plus y square and then now I have to give the ranges of both x and y so suppose minus 1 to 1 for both so this gives y minus 1 to 1 and evaluate yeah. so I can rotate this around this is a 3d plot z of z square is equal to x, x square plus y square and I can do whatever I want with it there are many more features of plot um, I will cover them in a future lecture because that will demand a lecture of its own now for the last thing of today's lecture let's review lists matrices and expressions again let me shrink this one yeah so a list in Mathematica is just like an array so I define it using curly brackets say b is equal to x comma y comma z within curly brackets so b is my list if I want to refer to say the second element so within square brackets I pass the value to double square brackets so remember compared to other languages which begin with 0 Mathematica begins with 1 so b1 refers to x b2 refers to y and b3 refers to z okay now if I want to create a matrix I do it in a similar way c is equal to let me create it first and then you see why it is so you see now each row is given within its own set of parentheses so this is my matrix right now it is in the form of a list a list within a list if I want to view it in matrix form the command is matrix form so you see 1 2 3 4 now matrix form is a function so as we discussed before I can I could have also used it like this so both are same if I want to calculate the product of two matrices let's say if I want to calculate c square what I do c into c and I get the result I could have also used the dot notation c dot c and then let's say the matrix form and this we get a final answer so something went wrong c into c I see I see yes so the issue is that when I wrote c star c Mathematica took each element and it multiplied by the same element without following the rules of matrix multiplication so you see 1 into 1 1 2 into 2 4 3 into 3 9 4 into 4 16 so that is what star operation did well, so if I want a proper matrix multiplication I have to use the dot notation to end this lecture I will just review expressions so let me write first and then I'll explain So everything in Mathematica is an expression. So here I wrote this is an expression. So to view the form of an expression, there is a nice function called tree form. We use that and you see. Now the head of the expression is this. So this is the highest operation that's being done and the second layer is is and within is we have two other expressions so this is how expressions are evaluated in Mathematica this is an important concept and we will study it later in future videos so that's all for this video 
next time we will discuss functions and substitutions thank you for watching